folks, a few months ago we had Lindsay Williams on, not to talk about current events, but to talk about something else that's equally as important, more important actually, with uh, his doctor, Dr. Rodriguez. Dr. Rodriguez practices medicine in Mexico and has done miracles to a lot of people. This is a true story. He can do things there that we can't do in this free country. Ha, 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 free country. Anyway, we're going to talk to Lindsay and Dr. Rodriguez tonight. And because the last time I had him on, uh, we had a lot of interest in this because people do care about their health. At least I hope they do. Uh, most folks like me are all the time fighting something. Like I fight the battle of balls and trying to keep diabetes under control with diet and products that are used that are fantastic products. But it's a continual, ongoing battle. Now, we can find people that can help us with the situations. And we're going to give you a toll free number a little bit where you can call the hospital and actually talk to Dr. Rodriguez. We're going to do that, I promise. So get ink, get, get an ink and uh, get a pen and pencil, or pencil handy, one or the other, some paper, and get ready to get down, ready down a toll free number to call and talk to Dr. Rodriguez, who would do his best to give you advice on whatever you want to talk about health wise, okay? Linda Weems, are you there? Pastor Bush, good evening, and thank you for letting Dr. Rodriguez and me be on your show tonight. That's okay. I've been looking forward to it. Is the doctor also there? Yes, sir. I'm here and uh, very thankful for having us uh, tonight with you. Well, I'm thankful you're here, Dr. Rodriguez. I mean that. I sincerely wish I could come in sometime and see you and if I ever get the money back. I won't come and visit you myself and just run through your, uh, your, uh, your, your system down there and see what I can do to get me kind of maybe fixed up some things. Uh, but uh, well, both of you are welcome to the program tonight. I'm going to kind of let you all lead the way on this because you are talking about health issues. Lindsay's Dr. Rodriguez has seen you several times. He brags about you all the time and how much you've helped him health-wise. Lindsay, how old are you, Lindsay? 74? Uh, 77, Pastor. Bush. 77. Okay. And still pretty spry for an old, old chicken, aren't you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Dr. Rodriguez is keeping me that way. Well, I'm I just it's a thrill we had time to do this tonight, Lindsay, because I know you're busy. I know Dr. Rodriguez is very busy. So I'm going to let you all start off and share what you want to with the listeners. Now, folks, in a little bit, we're going to take phone calls, as always. So you can fill the phone lines up at 852, I'm sorry, 855-252-8824. 855-252-8824. I want to hear from you. Go ahead, Lindsay. Start off. And Dr. Rodriguez, you feel joining him when you think you need to. Well, Pastor Butch, it's so good to be here. And you remember that on your show, back in the archives, it's there, that over four years ago, my elite friend, you know who he is, Mr. Fromm, and he said to me one day on the phone, he said, Chaplain, there's going to be a health care program presented before Congress. And I said, yeah, I've heard about that. And he said, Chaplain, this is not a health care bill. This is not a health care program. And I said to him, and said it on your show afterwards, Ken, what is it? He said, Chaplain, this is the final control factor of the American people. Now, as of January the 1st of 2014, everyone out there in the audience is going to face it. And I want to show you, I'll just read a statement or two here, and then I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Rodriguez. Just recently, doctors have begun to write about what you're going to have to do after this health care bill comes into place. I want to read you what Dr. Billet, MD, doctor, says. This is what she says is going to happen as a result of the new health care program. Longer waits for medical care. Again, she says, fewer options for specialists. Again, she says, an increasing number of Americans will be forced into second-class medical care. Again, she says, rationing of medical care. Did you catch that? There is going to be rationing of medical care under the Medicare bill as of January the 1st of 2014. Again, here this is so startling. She says, if you are denied treatment, you have no appeal of the IPAB decision, the board decision. You're simply out of luck and possibly out of life. Here is her recommendation. Now, doctors, many of them are recommending this now. She says, it's wise to consider proactively planning for medical treatment options outside the United States of America. And Pastor Butch, that's the reason I'm here right now in Tijuana, Mexico, at the IBC Hospital with Dr. Rodriguez is because I want to help people know 
what this doctor has recommended, you've got to know after January the 1st of next year where you can go outside of America to get alternative health care. You know, uh, Lindsay, and, and this is, I mean, this is serious. You already know this. A lot of folks can't afford to, uh, to leave home hardly, much less travel across the border to visit a doctor. Much they want to. They really can't afford that. And that, that's what's got me concerned, that the health care Dr. Rodriguez gives is beyond uh, question. It def- definitely has done some miracles. But people that can't afford to cross the border, I'm concerned for them. I don't know. I, I, that wasn't a topic to me. I, I, but I just want to bring it up because I know personally that it stretched my budget and I will fly down to get, to get to see him. So I don't want Do you have any comments on that? I've been asked that before. How do people afford this? Yeah, well, if, if Pastor Butch, if you think you can't afford to come across the border for a real honest to goodness health care, let me, let me refer you to Jeff Smith. He's a a journalist with the Wall Street Journal. Now, you go to Wall Street Journal on June the 12th, and you read Jeff Smith's article. I'm going to read you one sentence. He says that he was just given a quote for he and his family for health care at $842 per month. But, you ready? Please, catch this. But, that will increase to $2,320 starting January of 2014 when Obamacare picks in. He says that is a 276% increase. If you think that Obamacare is going to be cheap for your family, $2,320 a month compared yes. to 842 right now, Yes, we, we know that's true, but you know what's really sad? A lot of folks are not going to be able to afford that, and, and they're going to be penalized because they can't afford it. Well, there's one place that when you really need help that will give it to you as you won't find it anywhere in America, in any American hospital. And Dr. Rodriguez, uh, just tell them about the wonderful place that 30 years ago you had the privilege of getting started here in IBC in, in Tijuana. Sure, we have we have a hospital that was built on the belief uh, that uh, the only way you can you can be healthy is if you uh, help your body to heal by itself. And if we're talking about affordability and, and all these things, you have to sit and think that the best thing you can do is to keep your health, because the less you need the doctor, the better off you're going to be. And the way to do it is by going into programs that are going to help your body to stay uh, healthy and to heal whatever damage has happened. Because what what uh, we cannot absolutely afford is the lifestyle that we have that's very consu- uh, conducive to, to illness. And uh, with that belief uh, as the foundation for this hospital, we created a hospital where detoxification, cleansing, good food, bed rest, and, and a lot of these things happen so your body can help itself instead of using costly medications. One of the big problems, one of the big issues that I have with uh, pharmaceutical drugs nowadays is that you go to the doctor, the doctor gives you all these wonderful things, and then you ask, how long am I going to be on them? And they tell you for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And you might be getting a little bit more, a little bit less, but you're going to be buying prescription medication for the rest of your life. And this medication is very probably going to have side effects, and to counter those side effects, you're going to be given more prescription medication, which is going to make your bill more expensive. And because of all of these things, you're going to be having numerous doctor's visits and laboratory testing and all these things simply because we have not been able to put our lives together in the sense that we keep our health and we keep our integrity, our biological integrity, to function the way we were meant to, not the way that we that we feel we can and, and, and have a lot of fun and drink alcohol and cigarette smoke and, and have these uh, terrible diets that we, that we have, overeat, eat things we shouldn't eat, etc., and think that we're going to keep our health. That is, to me, one of the biggest problems in, in today's healthcare in America. 
Dr. Rodriguez, if somebody will contact you, by the way, I asked for a, 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 one of the little pamphlets you get out uh, when I was on, when you on last time. I haven't received it yet. The little information packet that, that y'all send, I have not received that yet. But anyway, uh, if people call and talk to you on the phone and they are having health problems, I know you can't really do anything much about it on the phone, but can you give them some uh, some advice on what they need to do to cure or take care of some things? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I welcome, believe me, I invite everyone listening tonight to give me a call, to send me an email, to, uh, to put their, your health uh, concerns, your health questions together and, and, and share them with me and talk about it and see what you can do. I'm sure there are many things we can do before you really get to, to need a hospital. But if you don't, if you don't do any of these changes, you're going to end up in a, in a hospital. You're going to end up with a lot of uh, prescription medication. So by all means, my phone number, my email address is absolutely for your listeners to use anytime, any day, no strings attached. We don't charge anything for any, for any consultation of that nature. And I would love to hear a lot of uh, from from you people that follow your program and help them. Hang on to the break, doctor, and we'll, we'll get that phone number out to the folks. Our, our founding fathers didn't that didn't put it in the Constitution. I guess they assumed that it would be part of common sense, but they spoke of medical slavery, where you couldn't get the treatment that you wanted from doctors. Now, I'm serious. This was discussed during with their founding fathers. They were not. They could not comprehend what we've allowed to happen to our nation, that we no longer have even the freedom to choose our doctors to uh, to be able to be treated by anyone we want to with any kind of treatment we see fit, the doctor sees fit. They would never believe that. But that's where we are today. And thanks to King Obama, uh, the worthless piece of trash in the White House, first of the year, you're going to see things happen that you're not going to believe. And I'm dead serious about that. And I hope you're listening, and I hope you're caring. Dr. Rodriguez wants you to call him, and I'm going to call him personally again, spend a little bit of time on the phone with him, and he has some free time, asking some health questions for myself. I try to battle my situation, folks, daily. But there's some things I'm sure that I'm missing that he can fill me in on. His phone number is 800-701-0111. Four five. That's eight hundred seven zero one seven three four five. Please feel free to call him. He's asking you to. He, he wants you to. Please do that. Is there anything else you want to say? Yes, there are treatments here, Pastor Butch, that you cannot receive anywhere else in the world. No, I mean literally anywhere in the world, not just in America. The Alvisartos treatment here. You remember my lead friend took it years ago. It was 20 years ago, and he's had no reoccurrence of his cancer. Uh, what more can you ask for? And he's now in his 70s, still flies his own airplane. Uh, Joanna, my wife, is being given stem cell treatment while we're here for her arthritis. And it is amazing what I'm hearing of people who have rheumatoid arthritis who they're using stem cell treatment for. And, and they don't take an animal they or a fetus. They use a person's own blood to give the stem cell. So, yes, not only will you not get uh, good medical service in America after January the 1st of next year because 40% of the health care professionals won't even be there, they're resigning, they can't stand Obamacare, will not operate under it, but there are things right here at the IBC hospital within just a few moments of the San Diego-United States border that... It literally are different than you can receive anywhere in the world, Pastor Bush. Amazing. And Dr. Rodriguez, how extensive are your treatments? I mean, I know that you treat people naturally. Do you also do surgery and things like that there? I mean, what all do you cover there in the hospital? We're, we're a hospital. We're, we're a hospital, and there are instances in which you have to do uh, things that are more regular, like surgery, you said it well. Because, uh, unfortunately, many of the problems that we deal with, I mean, just uh, went a little bit too far. And, yes, we are a full hospital, so you have all the support of a regular hospital. But the foundation of every treatment is going to be in using the resources your body has. 
One of them would be, of course, cleansing and so forth. And let me tell you something about cleansing and detoxification, because those are words that many times we use them very loosely. But many people do not realize that through our lifetime, we lose the ability to fight the way we should be fighting uh, infectious problems. And the reason is that in many cases, people are getting antibiotics and steroids from the from early childhood for anything. We have so many good excuses to give people these drugs, these antibiotics and, and steroids, like uh, people with asthma, people with uh, infectious diseases, uh, bronchial infections, and then you grow up a little bit and then you have acne, and it goes on and on. But the fact is that many people get all these antibiotics and all these therapies for years, and of course, the immune system is losing its strength. And the more you lose its strength, the more, uh, the, the easier you fall prey to all these diseases, uh, viral diseases that are around us, like uh, Epstein-Barr, which is a similar virus to uh, mononucleosis, or herpes, or all these viruses that are now right, right now taking taking over a lot of our health. And then you have people with fibromyalgia, with chronic fatigue syndrome, people that should be in their prime but cannot really function because they're tired all the time, because they cannot simply do not, do not have the strength. They want to to fall down and go to sleep, and even though they're terribly tired, they cannot. Dr. Rodriguez, hang on to the break, please. One more break here, please. Okay. Uh, the break, we'll will explain some statements and post your phone calls coming up at 855-242-8824. Hey, folks, we're back here talking to Lindsay Wins, who's with us over the years several times, and has told us saying, come back to the 90s, are going to happen, and that have happened, and, and going on beyond that. Or watch what he says going to happen in the Middle East, happen as we speak. If you don't believe it, watch the price of gas going up since Egypt uh, erupted. And you haven't seen anything yet, I promise you. But that's not the topic tonight. We're talking to doctor, tonight to Dr. Rodriguez and Lindsay Weems about health care problems. And I sincerely, folks, want to go see this doctor. I would love to be able to spend a couple weeks with him and, and run through his course. I know that no matter how good I try, there are things I don't understand yet that he could help me with. And, and, I, and I, I would to God we could all do that. But you can at least call him and talk to him. That he does welcome. Again, 800-701-7345. And Dr. Rodriguez, are you saying that you can actually cure people of, of uh, different diseases? I mean, cancer, arthritis, uh, uh, fibromyalgia, and all the other things. You can actually cure them of that? Well, this is the type of disease that we handle because it's the, this is the type of disease that we have brought upon ourselves because of weaker immune system, because poor uh, care of our own bodies, because of uh, excess in toxic substances. So when you when you have a place where you can uh, restore and change all these situations, then is when you're going to see really, really good results. I mean, these are conditions that when you start uh, cleansing your life, cleansing the way you live, cleansing the, uh, I mean, be obedient with the rules that uh, you have to have in, in how you handle your body and how to protect yourself, then there is where you see really the big results. And we have seen cases that are absolutely amazing. And uh, like, uh, for example, Pastor Williams was talking about the Ali Bisatos program. Well, the Ali Bisatos program couldn't be more natural. There are uh, substances that are completely normal, completely natural, that many of them are even in our foods. But the big problem is we don't eat what we should be eating, and we don't eat the amounts that we should be eating. Fiber is literally gone. Nobody likes anything green. And said that, I'm going to tell you that probably younger people are the ones that have the, the worst share. And we're looking at people with, uh, with uh, degenerative disease that are in their teens or 20 or 30 years. And you see people literally dropping dead very early yes. in, in age yes. because they simply do not have the, the capacity or the performance to do what our bodies uh, are, are supposed to be doing. Well, now, obviously, greens, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, and, and raw vegetables, especially are the best for you. Are meats allowed also? Are what? Meats. Well, yes. Yes, we allow meat. But we have to be more careful. Number one, we have to be more careful in how 
often we do it, what amount we do it. Okay, and I always tell people, if you, uh, if you read, uh, for example, Leviticus, and uh, which I'm sure you have and, and many of your listeners have, but if, you, if your listeners would care to read it tonight with a different idea, uh, if they start paying attention exactly what it talks about, to which is the way we should be eating, which is the things that we should be eating, I mean, meats are important. They're they're important part for our life, but we don't just do them every meal. We have bacon and sausage for breakfast, a hamburger for lunch, and a steak for dinner. That cannot be. That simply cannot be. And actually, when we go to, to a restaurant, we normally talk about our foods because of the meat. We say, what do you want? You want beef, you want poultry, you want uh, fish. Uh, so that's, that's the way we function. And we have to understand that uh, it has to be simply a different way. We have to, uh, if you come to the hospital, for example, you're going to see delicious, palatable meals that have no meat whatsoever, but we serve meat, except that we just serve it preferably at dinner, and smaller amounts, much smaller amounts. And you're going to be satisfied, and you're going to feel full. You're going to feel uh, content with the type of food, and you're going to be healthy as well. And people start feeling better and functioning better. Because when you start doing all these changes, the first thing that's going to happen is that the blood is going to flow better. And life is in the blood. The better blood flow you have, better, the better you're going to feel. You're going to think clearer. You're going to be sharper. You're going to be more energetic. You're going to feel all these changes. And with all those changes, then is when miracles start to happen. Because we have, we have a body that was made for us in a wonderful, spectacular way. We just have a phenomenal body that when given the chance, when given the tools, can do wonderful things for us. Mm-hmm, that's true. That is very true. And when someone comes down to your uh, to your hospital, uh, I don't know, uh, a problem maybe perhaps with uh, uh, fatigue, uh, maybe some pain, arthritis, whatever, how long before they will notice a difference in the way they feel? I think they're going to feel the difference very soon, within a few days, uh, two days, three days, they're going to feel the difference. And you just mentioned something. Fatigue and pain. What does that tell you? That tells you that uh, a lot of people have chronic inflammation. And chronic inflammation is really the culprit. It's behind all of these diseases. It is this chronic inflammation that's triggered by, in many ways, by what we eat and by the stress we live in or by toxic substances like cigarette smoke that uh, not only keeps us uh, ill, but makes things worse and worse and worse. And we expect that a pharmaceutical is going to take care of that, and it is not. I mean, we have to start thinking that the times of going to the doctor, get a treatment, and, and get healthy are long gone. Number one, we used to have a totally different lifestyle. I mean, uh, any of you, any, any people uh, listening to me tonight, I could ask them, when did you ever hear, for example, that your grandmother had osteoporosis? I don't think none of us had that experience. We didn't hear, we didn't even know the word. I mean, people that are my age or Pastor William's age, I mean, no, it, it, that didn't exist. That's, that's a very recent diagnosis. Why? Because we don't have the physical activity. We don't have the diet uh, that, that we should be having. You know, we, we eat, uh, for example, and particularly women, uh, they take a lot of uh, soda pop. Well, soda pop has a conflict with calcium in the body. So every time you take a, a, a soda pop, forget about sugar, forget about calories. Just having any of these carbonated drinks will have a problem with calcium absorption in the, in, in the bone. Because we were meant to drink water, and that's what we don't do. And the same goes with a lot of the practices that we have. We, we, we have, uh, for example, boned uh, meat. Like we, we, we buy a breast of bread. The bone is, is history. Well, those bones have nutritional value. And when our grandmothers used to do a chicken soup, 
an old-fashioned chicken soup, they put everything in, and that soup contained a lot of nutrition, nutritional value that's long time gone. And uh, so we have to start looking back into what we should be doing. I, I have what I call the 100-year rule. I always tell people, okay, if good nutrition is conflictive uh, for you, let me tell you something. Every time you're about to eat something, think if that food was available in that way 100 years ago. If the answer is yes, it's probably safe. If the answer is no, go for take take a different option. And if you were going to have, for example, oatmeal, oh, that's been around us for years and years and centuries. And if we were to uh, barley, I'm going to give you a good example. Barley has been with us for 10, over 10,000 years. Barley is a staple food from the origins of mankind, and it's an excellent food. So we can make salads with it, we can make bread with it, we can make cereal with it. There's so many things we can do with barley. It's filled with, with fiber and so forth. So we have to go back to, to many of our roots. And uh, and I would have to say in more ways than one, because everything that's happening in America is because somebody comes with all these brand new inventions about this and that and so forth. And we've been changing so much that, uh, as uh, Pastor William says, I think we're going to to stop one of these days and regret so many changes. Oh, yes. We, are, we already are. But you know what you said a minute ago about the food that wasn't available 100 years ago? The food that wasn't available when I was a young boy back in the 50s is here today. Things that, that we never heard of. And now because they taste good and they're, they're, they're a satisfying snack, you know, something that, like cheese puffs, for example, or other things like that, that uh, or potato chips, they're nothing. They're nothing. There's nothing there of nutrition. It's just tastes good. But the things that, when I grew up as a young boy, and I'm 60, almost 65 years old, we raised our own meat, raised our own gardens, we picked wild berries, we made our own, canned our own food. Uh, the only thing about the store is probably salt and sugar. Other than that, we didn't buy any flour. We didn't buy anything else. We raised our food. Uh, we, everything, everything that we hunted and we fished. And I got to tell you, we never heard of diabetes. We never heard of hardly any heart uh, problems back then. And cancer was very, very rare back in the 50s. So something has changed in my lifetime, Doctor, that's destroyed this nation health-wise. And I, and I have to believe that it's all done for profit, of course. I mean, the, the companies that make these products don't care uh, if, if, if they're healthy or not. They make money off of them, just like the pharmaceutical drugs do the same thing. But I don't want to be hard on people, but I'm telling the truth. Money is still, the love of money is still the root of all evil. So we know it's caused the whole problem. It's called greed. And we have to learn to say no to ourselves. And that's easier said than done. I know for a fact. Doctor, can, can we take some phone calls very quickly? Sure, absolutely. Let's take a new caller from uh, Nevada. Let's talk to Dan. Dan, welcome. Dan, Hi. this is, by the way, uh, on the on the call call in line. First time listener. Welcome, Dan. Hi, thanks. Uh, is Lindsay still there? Yes, he is. Yes, I am. Dan. All right, great, Lindsay. I've been listening to you for over two years, and thank God of the Bible for allowing me to learn all the wonderful information you've given over the years. You know, I'd highly recommend others listening to get Lindsay's DVDs and books. Uh, I have two questions for Lindsay. Uh, first, uh, how does the mark of the beast figure into Obamacare, and should followers of Jesus Christ be Freemasons? Well, first of all, uh, I think the mark of the beast fits directly into Obamacare. It's control. And that's what the, the uh, beast, that's what the Antichrist is going to do. It'll be total control of everybody and everything. Uh, Freemasonry, I think that's far away from the subject of health, so I'd like to deal with that another time if I can, and I'll be more than happy to. But, yeah, the Obamacare fits the right directly into it, and we may even have a chip here before it's all over with. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. God Thanks bless you. Man. Appreciate it. Another new caller, uh, Jason, Illinois. On nations, of the, I'm sorry, Jason. We try to get to you quickly. I'm sorry, we we lost you. You call back, Jason. Listens on the station, Illinois, WTHX. Uh, we're glad you're out there, Jason. If you'd like to call back, please do so. And who's next in line? Uh, okay, Arlene in Mexico. Arlene, welcome. Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, Doctor Rodriguez, do you have another clinic outside or other than San Diego? 
No, unfortunately not. We're I, I wished you could expand to what else. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wish to. I, that yes, be my, we, my, my we, dream would be to see people that are interested in health and change our ways and we yes. all just have a very long, healthy life. May I ask a quick medical question? Absolutely. Okay. It seems like there's a, a epidemic of um, thyroidectomies going on here in New Mexico. If they find a lump, a supposed lump or growth on the thyroid, is it necessary to remove the thyroid, or is not, there some other treatment for that? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. There's uh, blood testing and, and thyroid scanning that can tell you what's going on. And again, by making some changes, uh, sometimes with nutrition, you can help it a lot. If you wanted to send me an email or call our 800 number, and uh, I'll be very happy. You, you can just uh, tell the operator you were uh, with uh, Pastor Butch and that uh, I'm expecting your call, and I'll be very happy to go through these things with you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Rodriguez. It's not for me, but I've had several friends that that are uh, have either had or they're going to have their thyroid moved, and it's mostly women, I guess, because that's who my friends are, and anywhere in, from their 20s up to 60s, and it, uh, it must be the latest tons tonsillectomy or hysterectomy because they're doing that surgery left and right down here in New Mexico, and I suspect it's going on all over the United States. Okay. Are I'll you, give you them your number. Phone number. I'll give. Yeah, I, I will give them your number, Doctor Rodriguez, and thank you so much. You're really. Right. You, you have the number, right? Yes, Pastor Butch, and thank you, Pastor Butch. We're glad you're welcome, back. sweetheart. Thanks uh -huh. for call. Uh -huh. Such uh -huh. a sweet lady. What a sweet lady. Anybody else new online? Mark and uh, uh, Dan needed to just. Uh, who's next? Okay, Larry, Louisiana. I'm sorry, I got a bad order here, folks. My fault. Dan's on the job. I messed up. Larry, Louisiana, come on in, sir. Okay, I got two quick questions. One for Lindsay, and one for the good doctor. Lindsay, uh, it's my understanding that everybody has to buy this health insurance. Could you ask your elite friends just exactly what they plan on doing with the homeless people? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, the government, of course, would love to give them health care and along with it, total control of everything in their lives from beginning to end. So, yeah, go yeah. ahead and ask a doctor his question. Okay, uh, Doctor, uh, hemp oil, is that uh, a useful product, and does it make any difference if the THC is in or the THC is out? All right, can you give me the name of the product again? Hemp oil. Hemp, H-E-M-P. Uh, hemp, uh, I, I, hemp, H-E-M-P, hemp oil. Yes, it's made okay. from the marijuana plant. Yeah, okay, that's that's what I thought you you were saying. Okay, yes. Well, you know what? Yes, it it, it actually uh, mainly is being used for pain, for pain control, and some people have found it uh, very useful. Pain control is very tricky, and sometimes we have to find whatever is best for for each one of us. And uh, yes, there are people that uh, that uh, just found it like uh, very useful, and if that's the case, I would continue using it. You know, hemp oil. He's talking about. You know, we have hemp seeds that we we can eat. I put that very high in protein. Hemp oil and other products made from hemp. We're not talking about you know marijuana per se, but the hemp plant itself. So hemp, uh, from what I studied, doctor, is a is a very good plant to use, is it not? Yes, it is. Actually, my okay. my father used to to use it. Uh, what he did is he put uh, the, the plant itself in alcohol and then use it uh, to control uh, arthritic pain. So, okay. yeah. Then the like hemp oil is a little bit more trickier to get. Okay, thank you, Larry. Appreciate that. Let's grab back to break. Final segment, final phone calls, 855-242-8824. Hey right, folks, we are back and down the final segment. We've got a couple phone lines open. We're going to hear you, 855-242-8824. Can you call and talk to Dr. Rodriguez, which might be a best bet. It's hard to get a lot of questions on a short program. I know that. But you can call him at 800-701-7345. That's a toll-free number. I don't care whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 50s, 60s, whatever. The best time to start taking care of your health is when you are young. I'm telling that to be a fact. And we've all been, we've all 
took the slippery slope into unhealthy diets because it was taste good. It was a, it was anything, and I, I don't need to tell you that we eat too much most of the time. I, hey, hey, man, I'll say amen to myself. These things are part of our lifestyle, and it's good to a point, but it's gotten to be more almost on the verge of gluttony, and that's not good for you. Let's go to Mark in Oregon. Mark, welcome. Billy there program. Mark. Yeah, good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, it's quite a healing program, in my view, that you have here with two pastors and a doctor. I think it's great. Thank you. Well, it's just part of what we're all going to miss, uh, Pastor Butch, if you have to go off the air. And I certainly would encourage everybody, by the way, to uh, be free. And give, if many give a little bit, uh, it could very well do the job to keep Pastor Butch afloat here, which is keeping us afloat. He brings us nothing but good, helpful information. So Thank please you. jump in, folks. Um, Dr. Rodriguez, I just, I'm not sure if you're really aware that the people in this country are basically being poisoned. Um, aspartame, for instance, uh, Pastor Butch was speaking of a uh, diabetes problem, and I doubt if this is the problem, uh, the base of the problem with diabetes that Pastor Butch has, but aspartame has been proven to first cause gross weight gain and then the onset of type 2 diabetes. Now, aspartame is actually now in 14,000 processed foods in this country, which is probably all of them. And now the American Dairy Association has petitioned, as of several months ago or so, the American Dairy Association has petitioned the FDA to actually actually put aspartame not just in milk yes. but in 16 oh, other dairy, 17 yes. dairy products and all. So okay, Mark, we, have, Mark, we got we got to hurry. Which question? I just wanted to ask you, Doctor uh, Rodriguez, uh, when patients leave your facility and come back to the United States, do you strongly recommend that they eat only organically certified foods and to be very careful about those that they choose? I uh, urgently press them to eat foods that were created by God in the field, not in a factory. We shouldn't be eating food from a factory. Okay, oh, you, good call. Good you good said question. it all there. God bless you. Thanks for call, Larry. And, Lindsay, I won't give you about 20 seconds to wrap it up, and I'll give Dr. Rodriguez a couple of seconds, too. What, what do you want to say in closing, Lindsay? Please give a call to the International BioCare Hospital and ask them for their beautiful 60-page booklet. Please. Uh, now, whether you're coming here or not, I want you to get this. Your friends are going to need it. You'll need it. They'll send it to you at no charge. Beautiful 60-page booklet, the hospital. They'll also send you a DVD of the International Bio Care Hospital. If you would like to go and see it for yourself on the web, please go to lindsaywilliams.net, and then Dr. Rodriguez will give out the uh, a net uh, address here also, okay. but please go to Lindsay L I N D S E Y Williams dot N E T, and I'll feature the hospital there. Doctor Rodriguez, what website would they go to? Doctor Rodriguez, you about fifteen seconds. Got to hurry. Okay, just uh, <clears throat> biocarehospital dot com. dot com. <clears throat> Folks, number again is eight hundred seven zero one seven three four five. Doctor and Lindsay, thank you all for joining us tonight. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be talking to both of you soon. Lindsay, you have a wonderful evening and a nice a nice trip in the state of Mexico. We'll talk to you soon. Lord bless Pastor Bush. Thank you. You're welcome. Folks, we do love you. By grace, God, we see you tomorrow night.